no match today, so I'm having a pleasure session on the Seven. A uh, few of you have read my recent vlog about flat float fishing. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm just going to run you through a couple of the shot and patterns that I've been asked about. So today I'm using um, a torpedo. This is an eight gram one. Down to a tapered bulk. It's actually got 10 grams of shot on that, so it's overshotted. And further down, we're going down to a 12 hook. If you guys can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So a big hook, a big fish. Um, oh, 18 hook length. The rig's made up onto um, O20. And the second rig I've set up is a ray. Now this one's for edging through. I've got this one set up with just an olivet. An olivet there. And again, that one's down to a 16 hook. The 014 bottom. I like to be edging through with little bits of worm, uh, maybe castor or maggot on the hook. With that rig it's a nice swim it's only six foot deep uh, should be laying on a foot and a half with the torpedo the big rig and eight inches over with the ray well eight inches to a foot but i'll be looking to edge that through as the session gets hard i'd expect to catch laying on straight away it's quite a bit of color in the river still it's been like this now for a few days it Wednesday in the float match at Budley. Um, the only thing I could catch on were these sort of rigs, flat float rigs, drew a good chub peg, um, but totally the wrong colour for them to really go where I was a bit early in the year. But I uh, had some nice perch on flat float rigs that got me out of jail, won me the section. But um, obviously, I would like to have done a bit better from the draw I had, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So it's some. Some brilliant bait here from ABC. Got casters, hemp, worm. Real good quality worm at the moment. And the usual, usual maggot. So I'm going to crack on with this. I'm going to start the peg off with three dropperfuls of worm and caster. 13 metres. And I'll put another two dropperfuls at 8 metres. Uh, it's actually the same depth at 8 metres as it is at 13. So I can set up two lines, one on the crease and one up in the flow. Um, so that rig actually will do both lines, which is unusual. You usually have to have two different sizes set up to fish two lines. Um, but yeah, I've never fished this peg with a flat float, but I've always fancied giving it a go. As I say, no match today. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a couple of hours and um, see what happens. I'm expecting probably some barbel perch eels, maybe a chub or two, but we'll see. Uh, I'll post I'll post an update later, let you know how I get on. And I'll post a few more pictures of the rigs and stuff in a bit more detail. 